Uh, hi everyone, my name is Wyatt Gould. Um, I'm really excited to come here today and share some of my goals that I would want to uh, share with you about what I believe uh, VPComs can be. Um, I'm also, I would like to take now to uh, thank whoever nominated me. Um, uh, it's been a busy year for me personally. Um, it was a bit daunting coming into Saida as a freshman and a new member and also as the uh, uh, director of marketing for Punk, uh, but through that position, I think I gained valuable skills, uh, especially through maintaining official communications via email, and through also manta uh, maintaining uh, the social media accounts that I can apply to this position. Um, I'd also want to take up to, uh, like to talk about when I first joined Saida, uh, because when I first joined this club, um, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I had been uh, I'd attended Funk as a delegate in high school, uh, but I wasn't sure what I was expecting when I walked into 60 Willard. Um, and when I did come in, uh, what I found was uh, one of the most uh, inviting and friendly uh, groups of people that I've ever been a part of, and I'm really glad to uh, be a part of this. Um, I also found a group that is uh, really committed to involvement, and has a really, uh, it was really fostered a strong community that is really involved in their activities, um, as can be seen through the fact that so many of us uh, dedicate two weekends out of the year to uh, sometimes the four weeks where we have exams, where we just spend the entire weekend uh, staffing these conferences. Um, and one thing that I would want to strive for as VP comms is to sustain this level of uh, energy and involvement throughout the year. Um, one of the highlights I thought this uh, past few semesters of the um, side of meetings were the membership spotlights. Um, they're a really fun and cool way to meet uh, a lot of the members in this very large club. And it's um, really cool to hear from um, a lot of the different people in the club and give them a chance to share their voice. Um, and so I would want to not only continue uh, this program, but also look at uh, other programs to develop to uh, continue uh, getting the opportunity for members to share their voice and be heard in meetings and to uh, participate more actively. Uh, I've considered working with the uh, VP of AWAY conferences to uh, have some delegates come up and talk about their personal experiences in AWAY conferences to help show um, uh, new, new members of the club some more about what it's like to actually go on these things um, and also considered uh, even the idea of uh, allowing people to shed some light on some international affairs topics that they feel strongly about and that's going on in the world. Um, another way I aim to sustain the active involvement through the high energy of the conference is through celebrating success. Um, when someone achieves um, an award in an away conference, it's a really cool thing, um, but it not only reflects um, a lot of uh, work on their part, but it reflects well on the club as a whole. And I think that uh, featuring this more prominently on social media would uh, show that uh, we are a club who's able to help people develop the skills to succeed in life and to achieve a lot of things for themselves. And it would reflect both well on our delegates and on our club as a whole. Um, so I, uh, also it would also look very good for people who um, are looking at our club from the outside and not necessarily members. Um, which brings me to another one of my goals for VPCOM, which is uh, to expand the scope of our social media efforts. Uh, right now, a lot of our like social media kind of seems targeted at people inside the club and like developing and fostering more community between ourselves, which is a great thing, and I'm really glad that we have such um, a strong presence in that area. But there are other areas to consider when um, running a social media account uh, for an uh, organization such as Saida. Um, two of the major other tar uh, target audiences are uh, other schools and MUD organizations, as well as uh, other PSU students for whatever crazy reason aren't already members. Um, so, um, I would look forward to really working with the uh, VP of membership to try and uh, coordinate efforts to reach out more and to create more visibility around campus of uh, Sayeda, uh, whether that be actually purchasing some ads on Facebook um, or through just um, more posts about our activities or about uh, opportunities to get involved. Um, I think that that could have uh, a big, uh, a big, be a big success. Uh, as we saw with the, uh, the this past punk, um, our first mini month, we had a number of people attending who uh, it was their first event attending, and this is the first time that they uh, heard about Saida, which shows that uh, the more visible we become, I feel that there are more people out there that we can reach and who are going to be receptive and want to join us. Um, I would also like to work with the funk and punk secretariats uh, in order to have more collaboration between promoting our conferences. Uh, Kelly and I this past year uh, did a bit of collaboration. Uh, towards promoting uh, the punk conference, and I'd really like to expand on this and uh, see uh, more posts about a conference, but not just uh, uh, work with them to uh, not only uh, expand our own conference, but also uh, have some kind of outreach and good faith towards other conferences, not only posting maybe uh, about our delegations after they return from conferences, but uh, posts that we're excited to be going to conferences. And this kind of uh, good faith uh, towards other uh, schools and their organizations will hopefully come back and help us in our own conferences. Uh, but enough about external efforts, I'd like to also talk about 
uh, internal parts of the club, uh, mainly the emails. Uh, I think one of the great things about uh, Kelly being VP was the amazing emails we've had, and I'd like to continue this uh, similar format. Uh, okay. All right. Sure. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Um. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, okay. that's a question. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, continuing the emails, continue the uh, diverse aspects with uh, both news, club news, and world news, and also all the resources that I, anyone in the, uh, the club could ever need. Um, I also uh, upholding the professional uh, aspect of GroupMe and um, the really official nature of it, and making sure that all info for meetings, uh, deadlines, and events are put out, um, as well as that all questions are uh, answered uh, promptly, is something that I will strive for. Uh, lastly, I also feel that there's some untapped potential. Uh, with the use of video on social media. Uh, I'm a fan of both the Where, is, uh, where in the World uh, is Sayeda and the Sayeda Abroad videos that were on the uh, Facebook and Instagram pages, and I definitely want to continue both those programs and look at expanding other opportunities to uh, physically show people what's going on in Sayeda. Um, I've considered uh, doing kind of behind the scenes stuff uh, for uh, both the exec board and looking at what actually goes into running this club and its functions, and also looking at what goes into the secretariats and what goes into behind the scenes for uh, running our conferences. And like the goal with this would be to both expose us to the outside world and to other P potential members around campus, but also to show new members uh, all the opportunities for involvement that SIETA has, and to make it a, less, uh, a bit less intimidating and more familiar to them. Uh, thank you for hearing my ideas today. Um, I hope to reach these goals with all of you. All right. That leaves me with 151. Okay. Okay, so what's your opinion on, I don't know if you or anyone uh, really knows that much one. Kelly puts Easter eggs in uh, emails. And what's your opinion on continuing that? Mm, the Easter eggs. I actually don't think I've seen those. I'm sorry about it. They're literally, um, it's like literally clicking the pictures. Oh, yeah. that's pretty interesting. I would definitely uh, try and continue that then. I guess I'd have to ask Kelly a bit more about the technical aspects of that probably, but I would oh, definitely yeah. need to continue It's going to be a huge that. section of my transition. How much time? He has 135. Yeah. Okay, so um, Sayeda has a, a very official presence in this room and through our social media, um, but one of the things that we all really love about Sayeda is that we hang out as a group of friends. Um, as VP Com, you are going to be the touchstone uh, for new members um, to get from the official Sayeda to our family, the group of friends that outside of official meetings. How are you going to bridge that gap while maintaining professionalism in the official comms? Um, I see the professional way to uh, pursue that would be to do all that I can to make sure that they are aware of and uh, try and coerce them into coming to the official events in that way that they can mingle with the people and uh, hopefully make enough friendships and connections to then uh, have like the uh, uh, connections to then go to unofficial events. Trevor. So theoretically, I had the stream where I started to hear <laughs> but kind of like a theoretical VP com. Um, and they said it's really difficult to get everyone to read your emails and stay on the same page. Uh, with that in mind, if you have a communications platform, email, group me, etc., uh, you plan to focus your efforts on? Um, I would say no. I would actually uh, probably equally uh, spread my attention across things. I would uh, definitely try to stress. Uh, social media and try and expand, as I said, into the two other areas that I specified. Uh, but I would also try and maintain the um, uh, high effort and the uh, impact of our current emails. One minute left. So you had an idea about starting like discussions. The, the, some of the members, there are many of the members of this club are very well spoken. How would you? Make sure to ensure professional team such an environment. Um, I'm not sure I understand your question. Um, I assume that people have well spoken. They would be I very mean, outspoken. I mean, say outspoken. Um, so I'm not necessarily looking at discussions. I was thinking more along the lines of a presentation, uh, just to make bring people to uh, like to be more aware of certain topics that uh, maybe are flying under the radar of news or are a bit more um, unspoken about. So I would want to be actually uh, a piece that's not thought of too often is the little plastic reflectors on the bicycle because they play a really important role in uh, both keeping people safe and signaling to other cars or bicyclists that uh, you are there and you are uh, doing a function. And... Sorry, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll cut off there. <laughs>